Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Fours. We are playing with the French Empire in the Law Resistance expansion. Uh, so, before we get started, a few people asked me how my shopping went yesterday. You know, we didn't have any videos on Wednesday since we spent the whole day on Tuesday shopping, uh, trying to find some some supplies. And uh, we went to a Walmart, a different Walmart than the one we usually go to, and yeah, it was barren. I think all the WalMarts are are completely barren. Like, there's no anything on the shelves. There's no meat. There's there's no milk. There's nothing. Like everything is gone. Uh, so we gave up on trying to try, you know, going to different WalMarts. Went to uh, three different stores, and there's Slim Pickens. Found a few different things. Not much, guys. Uh, so eventually, we just decided to uh, leave. Uh, we live in Colorado Springs, so we decided to leave the town, leave the city here, and, and go to a different town. So we went to a town that's about uh, it's about 20 something minutes away, 25, 30 minutes away, and uh, we found a, a store there that ended up having quite a bit of stuff. Uh, it was like a little treasure trove of food, man. I mean, they're still lacking like the you know things that are really really short everywhere. You know, toilet paper, hand soap. Uh, they also didn't have any meat, unfortunately. Uh, but as far as like hand goods, I mean, they hadn't certainly been hit kind of hard, but they they still had stuff left. Uh, they still had you know food left, pasta left, stuff like that. The stuff that you don't you're not really able to find anywhere here in Colorado Springs, or I can't find anyways. Uh, so yeah, we ended up getting a few things, and uh, we have about a week's worth of food. Uh, we're gonna try and get like you know saved up. I mean, we're gonna try and get like two weeks worth of food saved up total. And hopefully that should cover any uh, you know any crisis happening, and hopefully we won't need to use that. I think that's what everybody's hoping. But yeah, let's go and get started, guys. Uh, we found ourselves at war with the Comintern in the last episode. Uh, of course, Mexico started the conflict. Uh, Mexico, every time I have them go communist, I always forget the fact that they start, they're always like the powder keg uh, for World War II whenever you have them go communist because they declare war on everybody. Uh, so they end up bringing the Comintern into war with the, Dem the Democratic faction as well as uh, the fascist faction just because they just go to war with everybody uh, all in South America and Central America. Uh, so again, Mexico declared war in Argentina, and that started the conflict. And uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to do this this route a little bit less, uh, having Mexico go common, uh, communist, just because it, it's predictable. Uh, it's always the same thing happens, and they always get conquered. They almost never do well. So I think we're going to do, be doing that a little bit less. I did set up the uh, the planes. This is how they look. Of course, you can't see you know what's green and red and so on. You know where our air superiority is looking. But I did move all the planes everywhere. Move some over to here as well. Uh, pretty much all the ones we had in the stockpile uh, moved them around left a few for replacements of course and this is the Navy so for right now we're only gonna try and engage them here because I don't want to go in the English Channel because obviously that would result in uh, the ships probably being sunk by uh, naval bombers uh, from Britain uh, so we're only gonna go here and then here we can't really provide support here so because of that I'm not gonna go anywhere else with the patrol and uh, the strike force for right now uh, remember we do not have a very large fleet compared to the British, so we gotta be careful with them. Make sure we always have land-based uh, air support wherever we're we're fighting. Uh, so these guys, I want to move to the Mediterranean, Mediterranean, but we'll have to conquer uh, the Straits of Gibraltar first, so that we can actually get through there, because uh, otherwise they'd have to go all the way around Africa. And then, uh, so so we'll keep those guys doing that. And then I split the submarine fleet uh, into uh, two separate fleets. Uh, so we've got five task force here, and they are assigned. It's still showing red here, but it might change once they get out there. And they're assigned to this area here. Uh, so these five regions are what they'll be covering. And then we have four down here, and they've also got five regions, even though they have four task force. We could always split one of them, split this one if we wanted to. It has all the level one uh, submarines. Uh, but yeah, we've got them covering one, two, three, four, five. Uh, to sink any Soviet or Spanish convoys that are going through the Mediterranean. Uh, and then we've got air support in most of those regions, but not all of them. Uh, and that's pretty much all we're doing with the, the fleet for right now, guys. Uh, and I did get, uh, you know, this one does have this admiral here assigned. All right, so, and I, I think everybody has an admiral, right? Yes, everybody does. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. So it's going to be slow going, of course, because we're controlling many fronts. Uh, we're just going to let this play for a second and see how things change with the air. Uh, and just make sure I'm controlling it. Uh, make sure there's nowhere we need to uh, make adjustments. All right, so here we're winning. That's what's important. Here we're doing our attacks. We're going to focus on that here in a second. But first, let's go ahead and get all of our... Make sure our troops are coming up over here. Uh, looks like they're... Yeah, they're slowly getting over there. I don't know where this guy's going. Okay, he's going way over there. We don't want him to do that. Uh, which one is it? It is... Okay, this one's going to go here. And then this guy's going to come on over to here. All right. Uh, actually, we can just go... 
over to here, and then uh, occupy that province right there, so they go, they'll have to attack across the river and attack our troops in order to take it. Uh, so these guys are not in a good position. Did we send uh, divisions down there? It looks like we sent one. Okay, maybe we should send one, one of these guys over here then. Uh, I didn't really realize just how... Well, we should get this wrapped up. Never mind. We'll focus on that, guys. Uh, here, probably not going to get an attack. Not going to be able to win there. Uh, let's see where else. Uh, uh, so, the British haven't been pulled in, and they are in these two regions, which we could easily destroy them. Man, that's kind of uh, frustrating that they're there. What we'll have to do is send some, some troops over to here to make sure that they don't... Uh, get their supply back up and stuff or get the organization back up and we can quickly destroy them so we have troops coming over here we got troops going over here uh, maybe we'll send one more over so. there now that i'm thinking about it yeah we probably should let's go and send one more on over to here i guess for when the british get called in because as of right now they're not actually in the war but i do expect they'll be called in soon same thing with the soviets they're not right now in the conflict but that will likely change uh, looking for other areas we can fight. Obviously, that's just going to be a defense. Uh, they haven't pulled in China just yet. However, the Spanish are here, uh, so we do need to, you know, they have their little province there. So I've got two divisions to wipe that out. I've also moved these divisions to uh, these fronts here uh, now that we have that Australian invasion right there. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so we're going to be focusing over here. Uh, this is where we want to advance. And just looking for... Uh, good locations where we can do that so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and help them out with that attack there uh, help the Bulgarians out and then we'll likely go ahead and attack here as so. well oh that's different never mind I thought this was one province this is two provinces okay so this is what we're gonna do uh, let's go and attack here and here and then we're gonna support or no no we're gonna attack right there and support that okay excellent uh, so this is all across a river let's just get the well, I guess we could go ahead and help them here, and then, whoop, one of our generals got injured there. Alright, go ahead and support with these guys here. Make sure we get across that river. Actually, nope, the British aren't in yet, so let's go ahead and grab that province, undefended province there, since the British can't, can't fight us there. And then I'd like to get behind these guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attack right here instead of there. Uh, and remember, we can't attack from Iranian territory, that's not an option. Okay, so we're winning there as well. Should be pushing forward all across here. Did. Yes, sir. Uh, so these guys are coming over there. And let's go ahead and have them push up over this way. All right, so we've got them doing that. And should have... What we're going to do is we're going to change this up. And then have these guys go here and these guys go here. I know we did uh, already move a little bit that distance, but it's fine. All right, do we have anything here we want to execute? No, no, we don't want to execute these right now. Uh, let's take a look at our uh, defense here, make sure we're winning this. It does look like we are winning. Excellent. I uh, just want to make sure we don't don't lose any territory there. Uh, over here, we are winning these as well, trying to get more troops over to them. Uh, and we're actually winning that one, despite the fact that we're fighting three divisions. Uh, so that's interesting. I wonder if we can win here. Let's take a look. We could. All right, so we'll keep that going then. And uh, let's take a look, see how we're doing here. These guys are not winning. Uh, these guys are pushing forward here. They're not winning there, but we'll keep the fight going, I guess, for now. All right, so we're not at war with Brazil just yet. Uh, so we have to wait, but I do have two divisions coming over here, guys, because, yeah, they actually have uh, a little little uh, bit of territory here. So we need to take that from them. So I have two of the divisions coming from over here, which is unfortunate because uh, these guys uh, had exactly the, the right amount of divisions to cover all the provinces there. So that's going to cause some problems. All right, but again, we're trying to focus on the Yugoslavia here. And Soviet Union has been called in. Okay, so that will allow us to now attack this way. And so the way we're going to do this is we're going to attack with all of our forces here because this is a little bit easier than, than attacking right there, I think. Oh, they're both hills. I guess it doesn't really matter. But we're going to attack with these guys here into those hills. Looks like we've already won. Uh, so, then, yeah, that was really easy, really quick. Uh, it does mean we're going to have to fight Soviets all across here now. So that's going to you know, get more difficult, of course, as you'd expect. Uh, let's go and have these guys move over here. And these ones support them. Oh, and looks like, was that Canada that was pulled in or Britain that was pulled in? I think Britain pulled in Canada. I believe, yeah. So Canada is now in the conflict, and uh, we're going to give the state of Japan military access. So we're still not at war here in China just yet, uh, but now the, the British and the Soviets are involved. Now, because these guys are all, none of these are in the war yet, they can't invade here, so we don't have to worry about that just yet, but we are going to be fighting them in the air here now, uh, which we have you know, a few hundred planes trying to help us out, 
in that regard. And in fact, I want to say one of these should probably move up. Let me see where we'd want to move them. Have maybe these guys move over to here. Make sure that we have control there as well. Even though we're not fighting, we will be fighting, you know, these Soviet planes. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this back here. I don't really feel like that needs to be defended. We'll be fine, guys. All right, so let's make sure all of our troops are continuing to move forward. We're going to go ahead and grab that province and then attack it this way. Try and get it behind these guys if we can. And this, of course, will be the main area where we're fighting. And we're not at war with these guys just yet, right? No, we're not. So we cannot attack them. Uh, let's just take a look here, see what we're sinking. Got a Soviet convoy. We do need to pay attention to the convoy war uh, to make adjustments and where we might need to move our submarines as well as where we might need to put some uh, uh, convoy escorts. Right now, I don't have my convoy escorts doing anything uh, because I feel like they... Uh, I think we move these guys over this way. I feel like we should wait to see oh, where we need them first. Uh, so let's go and go across this way. I'm going to try and... Get here. We could also just go straight to the capital, I suppose. That would be an option. Um, but it feels like we're going to get there that this way. But you know what? This would cut off any divisions that are here. Okay, this is how we'll do it. Have these guys go across here and them go up towards the capital. I think that'll work out nicely. All right, we have uh, advanced uh, here. However, now there's a river we got to get across, so this will get a little bit more troublesome. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys attack across this river then while they support that conflict. All right, excellent. Uh, let's go and take dip back over to Africa, see where our troops are. It looks like we did lose a little bit of territory here. That's okay. Uh, that'll just let us get up behind them, uh, so I'm okay with that. Uh, let's go and bring these guys over to here, and then they're going to come over this way while they come over here. All right, excellent. Uh, and we are actually losing here now. we we'll get another division to help them out. Let's see how that goes. We're winning there. Uh, and let's just go and dip down to these regions, make sure that we're winning here. Make sure these guys are coming on the railroads as well. Uh, still just barely winning there. Okay, lots of conflicts to be fighting in, guys. Uh, I sunk some more convoys there. And I would like to take a look and see if any of these are with our main fleet. Uh, which so far, I guess our main fleet is only here, so I suppose that's the only place we have to look at. The rest of these are just submarines fighting. All right, uh, so, so far these are all green. Remember, we can invade from Romania. That's not an option since they are not into the conflict. Uh, so they're going that way. I just want to make sure at all times we have troops pushing forward, which, like, for instance, here we're not pushing forward. So let's go ahead and go there. And then these guys can come on over here. While all these guys will go this way. All right, so looks like India wants to send us five divisions. Sure, why not? We'll accept that. Uh, and then we also have uh, Australia wants military access, which we'll accept that as well. And uh, that will allow them to come through here. Uh, so these guys should be going over here. Uh, apparently they didn't. I don't know why. Let's make sure they do that. Um, they, I guess they defeated the division there. I don't know. I'm not even trying to speculate what happened there. Uh, we do have naval invasions uh, being planned. Uh, so this is in Brittany. So we do not have our, our territory here defended, guys. So this is a problem. This is what I was talking about with the British. Um, why some people wanted me to, to join to, to come into the war sooner when we didn't have divisions ready yet. If we had done that, I think we would have been in a bad position. Uh, speaking of divisions not being ready yet, Attention. let's go ahead and, and change some of these guys up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get... How many do we have of these? We have 13. Écoutez. So let's go ahead and get like... 8 of them, Écoutez. I suppose. We'll get like 8 divisions and then get them uh, changed over to larger divisions, the Grand Army. And uh, we're going to be lacking artillery, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get those guys changed up, and then what we're going to do is set them up to train since they can't be invaded right now. And then the troops that we have here are going to have to help us cover this front um, where we're looking at invasions. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to try and pay attention because I can't really assign them everywhere. Uh, that's just not an option. Uh, so we're going to take all of them except for one. We'll leave one in there. And then go, or you know what we could do? Could just go ahead and deploy these guys now. Yeah, let's just go ahead and deploy all these. We won't build more of those because we're lacking some stuff. I guess we'll get one more of these guys. And then see if we can get any more of these. Looks like we're short, a little bit short on light tanks, but we'll do two. All right, let's go ahead and get them deployed. And that will allow me to then take uh, all of these divisions here that are trained up to at least, you know, the train status. Put them into a second, uh, a new army, I should say. Uh, we don't have any commanders here, and we can't really get one. We don't have the political power, so they'll just have to not have a commander, I suppose. I don't think there's any commanders we can pull from that aren't doing anything at this moment, or that won't be doing something soon. Uh, we can't go and get infantry expert for Charles de Gaulle. 
So let's go and do that. Right. Just go and look and see if any of these guys have traits that we actually want to get here. It doesn't look like they do. Right. Uh, how about this guy? Nope. Uh, I figure we should right. go through them all, though. Since we can get some nice bonuses for our divisions. Yeah, he doesn't have anything either. That's actually available for him. The last one is this green army. And he doesn't have anything either. Okay, so they won't have a commander, and that's okay. That's, we'll just have to deal with it. Um, then we're going to protect just the naval bases, and I, I think we're just going to have to do it where we where they might invade, which is there and there and there. And that requires seven divisions. It's probably not going to be enough. Yeah, I think we'll have to protect this this here. This will be six. Yeah, I guess we'll just see, guys. Uh, overall, we do have... You know what? We're just gonna have to protect right there. There's uh, that requires three divisions each, so that could be three divisions in each port here. Yeah, because uh, you have three ports. So we'll just have to try and watch this. I know that we're gonna end up having an invasion, guys. Uh, that we're not gonna catch. Uh, it's probably gonna happen. There's not really anything I can do about it. Uh, so those guys are gonna come over there now, and hopefully they get there before the invasion is actually launched. That's the thing when you fight the British, though, especially as like the French or the Germans or the Dutch or whoever. Uh, you just got to const constantly uh, be worried about those invasions. Uh, we are losing planes here. I'm trying to sink these convoys. That's okay. That's okay, guys. All right, so still trying to get our troops over here so that we'll actually be able to push forward there. And again, it's just going to be super slow going because I'm controlling so many fronts and I don't want to miss anything. Uh, so yeah, expect it to be slow. All right, so we're going to get in the capital there. We're going to have it soon. Uh, and we need to get across the river here. These guys are pretty weak. So let's go ahead and attack there. And what we'll do is also attack. Well, we can't attack there. So I guess we'll just wait until the divisions get over to here. What we can do is attack across the river, though. So let's go and do that. We'll attack with these two and see if we make it. Uh, and then we'll attack with these guys here. All right, and see how that ends up going there. And looking... Okay, so we're attacking there. It looks like we stopped. Okay, so we'll just pull that back then. All right, so there's a lot of divisions over here now between the Soviets and the British. Uh, it's it's uh, problematic. Uh, but there's nobody down here, so that's how we might be able to get the Yugoslavians destroyed. Well, let's take a look see what we did here. It's in convoys there. Uh, but I do uh, pay quite a bit of attention to my convoys. I think I don't know if I said that in this series. I'm so confused between the two series and what I've said and what I haven't said in each of them. So sorry if I repeat myself. I'm sure I've done it a lot. Uh, so they pulled them them in. I assume that more of the Chinese factions will be joining the conflict soon. Uh, and we have another division here. So what we're going to do is have him come over here and then attack. And he'll better get his organization up in the meantime. It does look like these divisions are gone. Yeah, they're completely gone. Okay, so let's just go and have these guys go elsewhere. Uh, we'll send one on over to here, since he's not winning by himself. In fact, let's just go and pull it back, because it's clearly not going to work. And then we'll go and bring this guy over to here to help us out down this way. I know these guys are kind of making their way down here, uh, but yeah, it's fine. We need more divisions down there. And then this guy is also coming on over here, so we just got to wait. Uh, what I might do, because it takes so long to get anywhere, is have him take the railroads right over to here. And then he can move regularly once he gets closer to the enemy divisions. Sinking a lot of Soviet convoys. Um, we got to take a look and see if these are like troop convoys or... An, Seems the Italian troop convoys are being attacked. Uh, whether these are troop convoys or their, uh, you know, supply convoys. Uh, they stopped the attack along here. They gave up on that. Uh, we could, of course, attack ourselves. Uh, but I want to get this uh, front here finished up. And, and it's fine to wait. Uh, we'll have more resources for that attack if we wait. And now Brazil has been called in. So this is problematic because we don't have enough divisions along the Brazilian front to get this done uh, and to properly defend here. So this is going to be an issue, guys. Uh, but we'll, we'll try our best uh, to defend our territory here. Uh, what we can do is pull back here to reduce the amount of territory that we need to defend. Get those guys out of here. And the Americans now want to send us land lease. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and talk to him and yeah, get some, some stuff from him. It's going to require a ton of convoys. We have a ton of convoys, though, so... Yeah, we'll take that. And, uh, yeah, well, the Americans are going to send send some assistance and some goodies. And uh, hopefully they'll join the war against the Comintern soon, get Mexico knocked out of the conflict and the Canadians, and then they can come over here and help us in Europe. Uh, that's the hope, anyway. We'll see what they do. I'm seeing another naval invasion here, guys. Yeah, lots of naval invasions. Plenty of naval invasions. Okay, so very problematic. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is, is again, Attention. just what we have here. This is what we got. Uh, so let's go ahead and add to the areas. Uh, what were the three areas here? All right, so we're gonna want to add. Let me just double check on what those states, which states each one of those are. So I think I think I said Holland here. Yeah, Holland. 
Brabant. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these three regions to the air defense. Again, we're not going to be able to defend all this very properly, guys. Yeah, they need seven divisions. Right now, we're looking at about one division per each uh, for each one of our ports. That's just not nearly enough, guys. It's going to cause problems. And these guys are not taking the railroads, so let's go and force them to get over here and take the railroads, man. All right. We might need to pull some divisions. In fact, we will need to pull divisions off of this front, guys. We do not have enough over there. Uh, so we'll, we'll end up have him go there. Uh, and then maybe thinking if there's any other divisions that we might want to. Maybe some of the these ones here. How many of these do we have? We have eight. So we don't want to pull all of them. Uh, let's pull like three for right now. Get them going over to there. Uh, if we pulled one more, we'd have two divisions for each province. But we need at least 20 over here. Uh, so yeah, it's just the mass of a number of fronts that we have, guys, that are going to cause uh, issues. Uh, we did take Belgrade. This guy here is about to cut us off, but we're going to stop all that madness. Uh, looks like we can... Huh, okay, I think he's retreating over there. Got it, I see what's going on. Uh, so let's go and go here, and then let's go and go there. So these divisions here will be cut off. Uh, this guy's about to take that province, cutting off all of these guys from supply. Uh, let's go and have these go up here. And I don't know why he's taken off, but yeah, it looks like all these guys are tempted to take off. We don't want that. All right, so they should stay here. And overall, it's just kind of a weird front here, isn't it? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so it looks like this one can be deleted. And we're just going to have to do the attack again. That's okay. And then go ahead and delete this front here. Okay. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and dip down over to here. We sunk a Spanish destroyer. I should call him, I guess I'll call him Iberian, because that's what they call themselves. The Iberian Socialist Union. Alright, so we got more troops coming over this way. Uh, yeah, these guys are going to help out there and all across here. Okay. So let's go ahead and dip back on over here. We'll have to take a look what's going on in Brazil in a little bit. Uh, for right now, we'll just leave it as is. I got a slap pilot promoted. And uh, let's see here. So they're about to be cut off here. Uh, let's go ahead and keep the attack going, though. We're going to attack there, and then we're going to have these guys here. Hopefully, they get there in time. Uh, go ahead and grab that province for us. And just bring in some more troops over this way. He's coming up over this way, but we're going to have him. Let's go ahead and take all these ports. And then let's go ahead and have this guy come up over here now. All right, so advancing ever so slowly, guys. Uh, this is all across the river, which I'm not really interested in doing. Uh, so I'd prefer to attack over this way. Uh, we need to get these guys brought on the damn war, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, well, these guys could probably attack there now, actually. Going to attack there. Is that a win? That is not a win. Not even remotely close to a win, in fact. So we'll just go and pull back. Uh, I wonder if we can beat anybody here. Let's take a look. Uh, we'll get there in one day in 11 hours. They will get there in 14 hours. Yeah, we're not beating them. Okay, those are worth checking. And as far as the troops that are up along here, let's just go ahead and have them join uh, this, this front now. Just go ahead and get rid of this. And, okay, these guys are completely cut off right now. So let's go ahead and try and get them destroyed. We're currently defending, though. Uh, what we need to do is go ahead and push forward here. And then these guys, yeah, they're going to attack there and then here. And there's not really any good way to do this here. Let's have them go over this way, I suppose. Okay, so the attack across the river. We don't really want that. We'll bring them over this way. Same with these guys here and these guys here. Okay, so try and just get that wrapped up as best as we can. We did win here. Uh, let's go ahead and go towards their new capital now. And this guy's going up over here. We'll just have him just go there. I was going to have him attack the port, but now there's more divisions there, so I don't know how likely they will be at success. Uh, so we are sinking plenty of more convoys as well as some British uh, destroyers. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see how the situation is going in Brazil. Uh, so... We can't attack there. There's nobody there, so we'll, we'll do it. I don't know if it'll be successful or not. I guess we'll see. And it doesn't look like they've really reacted to anything. They're not doing anything just yet. Uh, it looks like this is about to get wrapped up as well. Uh, seems Colombia is going to deal with it. So what we're going to do is just make sure that uh, all the divisions that are here moving up there will come back down here. I'm just going to uh, wait for Colombia to, to knock this out for us. I think they can take care of it. Shouldn't be a worry for us, which is good. That's one less thing we've got to worry about, which we have enough uh, enough issues, guys. All right. 
Uh, so back to Yugoslavia, where we're trying to get this front wrapped up, and Ethiopia has been called in. Okay, so I assume that's going to put this territory here into threat. I really don't think we're going to be able to save it, guys. Um, sure. We'll make them fight, uh, fight us for it, I suppose, but yeah, I think it might be best to just pull the division out of there. I don't know. Uh, we did sink a light cruiser. Okay, there we go. I think that's the largest ship we sunk so far in the conflict against the British. Uh, right. So... Looks like they stopped moving over here, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take that province from them, or try to anyways. And I know we tried this before, but we're gonna try again. Yeah, it looks a lot better because their organization is pretty low at this point. Uh, and then we also had a battle over here uh, where we sunk four. Uh, is that Mexico's flag? I think that's Mexico's flag, yeah. We sunk uh, four Mexican convoys. So what is the decision that's available here? Oh, they're recruiting in Yugoslavia. Oh, I hate these decisions. I'll go ahead and say we're not interested in seeing that. Uh, as far as what our operatives are doing, uh, just make sure, okay, so we're working on that for Iran, for when the Soviets declare war in Iran, and yeah, th all this is good. This is exactly what we want them doing right now. All right, so uh, moving here, let's go and try and get these guys here wrapped up. Uh, this is kind of a weird front here, but yeah, we're about to get this done. Let's go and tackle it this way now. Try and get this uh, little bit of patch of territory here wrapped up. Uh, these guys are attacking over this way. That guy's trying to get out, but we're going to attack him. Uh, it doesn't look like we'll be able to attack into the capital just yet. Uh, frankly, we need more troops over here uh, to help us cover this this zone here. And they're slowly moving down here, I think. I can't really tell precisely what they're doing. But let's go and attack over this way with these guys. We need to get this uh, wrapped up here. I think that'll be helpful getting that done. And let's just take a look again see what we're doing here. See what we're sinking. So we got two destroyers sunk, but we did lose a submarine there. Okay, so let's... Might want to pull the submarines back out of the English Channel. That's a really high, you know, high casualty location, so... Might not be the best place to be fighting. I'm going to try and attack here. It looks like we should be able to win there now. Uh, and then what we want to go ahead and do is just cut these two sides off here. Uh, actually, no, we'll go after the capital here. And I'm going to go ahead and send a division in to help them. And then we're going to attack that way as well. And let's go ahead and bring this division over here and this division over here. Uh, and they can attack this way if they so desire. Although, I don't really want to lose that airbase, but it's fine. Uh, and, and we're still winning that battle despite being vastly outnumbered. Uh, so we'll take it, man. Uh, we will take it. Uh, so far, none of these have gone into deadly. However, I have noticed that there's a new spot. Yep, now they want to invade uh, over here. So, we basically, this army has to now protect all this as well. Uh, we're just going to go and protect the whole thing because you know that they're going to do it. And we'll just have to send them more divisions, probably. Uh, man, we just don't have, just don't have any uh, extras. We can throw these guys in there despite the fact they're not trained. Uh, so we could do that. What we could also do, though, is just take some of the, the divisions out of here. Uh, because, frankly, I don't really know that we're going to need all of these. So we could always take, like, a couple divisions from here, like just this guy here. Throw him over there. Like, it's up to, up to 14. Uh, how much do we need? We need 12 just to have one division in every province. Oh, good God, guys. Those uh, naval invasions from the British. Always problematic. Can we win here? We can. All right, we'll go and take it then, because right. we're just trying to get these guys capitulated. Uh, let's go and try and surround them. If we can't win, then we'll surround them. Uh, let's go ahead and have a red front up along here and give them an order as well. And then he can come up that way. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and have this guy attack here and this guy attack over here. Probably don't even need all this. This guy's going to come up on this front. Uh, well, this guy's going to go there as well. All right, excellent. Just make sure everybody's attacking here. Bring these guys over this way. And then we want this guy to attack up along here. Attacking there and winning. About to finish that up. Uh, and it looks like we have one here as well, so let's go ahead and have these divisions here now attack this way. Same with uh, these guys are going to come up on this front. As are they. While this guy is going to come over here and help us out there. All right, so a little bit messy fronts, guys. We'll get them fixed as we go. You know, it's going to be kind of messy. And luckily, they're being kind of slow pulling everybody in, so it's giving us time to kind of wrap this up and get things fixed. Let's go ahead and have them come up around to this front now. All right, so just about wrap that up here. There we go. Those guys are done now. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys come up over to this front and this front here. All right, excellent. Making some good progress. We have cut these guys off from here. Oh, not quite yet. Let's go ahead and do that then. Uh, get that wrapped up. And that'll give us a 
these guys will be completely separated from this land here for once they do for when they do get pulled in because as of right now they're not pulled in it does suck we have all these uh troops here though uh, that could be fighting elsewhere maybe we'll pull some of them back uh they're still fighting right there because that's the weak point remember we talked about that in a previous episode uh that's the only place that isn't mountains or hills uh so they'll probably continue attacking there we are losing submarines here i thought that this would be a high uh casualty place as well because we're not getting any air support there uh, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe if we need to pull that back, then we will. Uh, just taking a look at our fleet and seeing if uh, we need to send any of these submarines here anywhere. Uh, probably. Uh, so these are our level threes, right? The sharks? Yes. Uh, so we're going to want to keep uh, all the level threes together. Uh, so we won't place these anywhere just now. Uh, what we might end up doing is kind of merging some of these as they take casualties. All right. Uh, but so far, no convoy losses. We haven't faced any convoy issues, so that's good. And remember, they can't attack us along those fronts because of the fact that they are... Uh, where, who's the division that's here going down here? Where is he? This guy? He could stay here. Uh, but yeah, they can't attack us on those fronts because they're neutral. Uh, so again, we're going to try and cut these guys off here. See if we can get them. They, I mean, they have a port, so they're not cut off from supply, but cut off from like the rest of the army. Uh, we did sink nine destroyers and one light cruiser there. Again, this is where our main fleet is patrolling, and it's also where we have very good air support there. Uh, and the British probably don't have any air support, which is why it's the location that I chose to engage them. Uh, and we're sinking destroyers over here. Okay, I was a little bit concerned about that, that they would be here. Uh, what we can do if we have enough uh, naval intel, we can take a look at where the AI is right now. It doesn't look like we have the intel for that. Not yet. Uh, it's got to get a little bit higher to see what they're currently doing. I'm trying to see where exactly that's asked. Uh, at 80%. You have to get it up to 80%. Okay. So we can't see that with either of these. And, of course, the Soviets, we we're, we don't have an operative there, so we don't have very good intel. All right. So let's just take a look at these uh, battles here where we sunk a light cruiser and a Iberian destroyer. Okay. So these are all going pretty well, guys. Uh, it's still waiting on these divisions here. They're taking their sweet-ass time. This guy's finally moved forward, so let's go and grab that port there. And it looks like they're trying to take our territory there. That's just going to be bad for them. It's going to allow us to get them cut off. Uh, so we're fine with it. And it looks like they finally uh, gave up on that attack. So that's great. And we're attacking over this way as well. Okay, so everything's going great so far. There's no fronts. We're really having too many issues. There might be some issues along here. Uh, yeah, like these guys are attacking. There's actually a division there now. Uh, so there's that. But I think we should be all right over there. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, remember, we have uh, Argentina to help us out there. It does look like we're about to lose here, so that's a problem. Uh, let's go and bring another division over there, because we are mere moments from getting uh, the new capital. Uh, let's go and start pushing forward here. And this is just about wrapped up, so what we're going to do is take all the Red Army, have them come on over here, and then those guys will sign themselves once they uh, finish that up. Uh, so these guys come over here to help us out on that defense. Uh, this has been wrapped up. That's just about wrapped up, so we're just kind of getting these guys all placed here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just take all the divisions that are here, uh, except for this guy, have them assign over to here, uh, and all the divisions that are here. Oops. No. Okay, so it's just that one guy there. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is delete this, and then go ahead and stretch these guys out. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's go and take a look at these battles here. Two more Soviet destroyers sunk, so that's great. Uh, another destroyer there, convoys. Okay. And three more. Uh, con those are Italian convoys, actually, that were sunk, so that's unfortunate. We'll have to see what the Italians are doing. I don't know if you can look at them. You should be able to look at them, right, and see exactly where they're at. Yeah, okay, so they're mostly patrolling here. Doing naval invasion support. Yeah, all throughout here. Okay, so that's what they're currently working on right now. Maybe they'll invade any territory here that's in their hands, like right there and, and Malto. Oh, okay, Malto's freed. That's right. So we won't be invading them. Uh, but then maybe they'll invade here. We'll have to see how, how that goes. Hopefully the Italians will knock out some of these invasions since we won't really be able to do it ourselves. Let's just make sure all of our troops here are looking good. I'm surprised I haven't pulled them in yet. Let's go and try and take that province. I think we tried already. We must have lost uh, that attack. Uh, this is open, so let's just go and grab it real quick. And again, we have ourselves. Okay, we'll just have to wait until he finishes moving then. So I'm going to start pushing forward over there. This guy's coming up around here and just trying to get this wrapped up here. And 
Okay, who's all been pulled in? Let's take a look here. Uh, so Guatemala. Okay, so these are all the countries that, of course, that the Mexicans have started conflict with. Uh, and we are at war with another Chinese. Okay, so let's take a look and see how things are going over here. All right, so just these ones have been pulled in so far. I don't have to worry about our neighbors just yet, allowing us to get our troops up to the territory here. Why are we not conquering this territory? Oh, I see. I see, guys. So what we're going to want to do is just send one division over here to take that. All right, so that looks good. I'm trying to get more divisions up along that front. Uh, let's take a look and see who's all trying to come into this war. Okay, so the Netherlands is not in the war right yet, right? Yeah, I don't think so. That means they can't actually do the invasion here. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to select these guys. Uh, so we don't actually need to protect up there because the Netherlands is not in the conflict yet. So that'll help us out quite a bit. Now we only need nine divisions. Uh, so this looks a lot better now. All right, excellent. Uh, so that'll help us out some. Let's go ahead and have them stay here and move to a different location. Uh, I didn't realize that until we had this here, which we're gonna decline. Um, I don't really see any reason to pull these guys in right now. So I think we're just gonna decline all of them for now. Uh, Columbia can have military access though. Yeah, these are all just uh, countries in, you know, Bohemia, of course, but uh, Germany as well. All those German countries uh, wanting to come into the conflict. I say no for now. Right, so still just pulling in a lot of countries right now. Uh, Romania, obviously, want to tell them no. Uh, we can tell them no as well. Uh, we've gotten uh, three more Iberian destroyers sunk there. Lost a couple planes here. And uh, more convoys sunk. Okay, excellent. All right, and they are attacking our submarines along there, so hopefully those submarines will get out of there. And okay, Yunnan has now been pulled in. That's unfortunate because we don't have our divisions up along this front just yet. Bye. Yeah, we're still waiting to get a lot of these guys over here, so that's quite unfortunate. Uh, we've got three guys coming, but yeah, they're not going to get there in time, guys. Not at all, man. All right, and we've got another one coming over this way. All right, so it's unfortunate they pulled them in before we were really prepared. What we'll do is go ahead and take the railroads over to here so they'll get there quicker. Or maybe over to that. What? Nope. And then here. There we go. Have them take the railroads on over there. And uh, let's just take a look. Yeah, we don't want any of these guys to join. Tell them no for now. Maybe we'll let them join a little bit later, but right now there's I don't see any reason to uh, have them join the conflict. All right, so let's go and attack them this way. Yeah, you'll be able to get the win there. And uh, they're going to take that province there from them. All right, and then let's go and have these guys attack over this way now. Well, they'll attack that way. It looks like that might be a loss. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's yellow. Ooh, who did they just pull in? I didn't pay attention. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure who they just pulled in. Uh, okay, well, whatever. It wasn't uh, China China, though. Big China. So that's what I was concerned about. Uh, it doesn't look like they have many uh, troops here, so once they do pull them in, we should be able to push forward. It looks like that's what Australia is doing as well. Uh, so that would actually be a good thing if they pulled them in. I wish they would have pulled them in first before they pulled in Yunnan. It would have been nice if Yunnan was the one that wasn't pulled in yet, but that's not what happened, is it? Uh, let's go and take a look at here. Just so many fronts, guys. Just want to make sure we're not, we're not losing on any of them. Uh, looks like we're all right for right now. Uh, though they might be... Yeah, they are pushing forward there. Uh, so what we might want to go ahead and do... If we're not going to beat him, I don't want him to take any territory, especially not in mountain territory. Uh, we're going to beat him, so it's fine. Nothing to worry about, guys. All right, excellent. Remember, we're still getting those volunteer forces from India, which we'll get here on the 18th of August. All right, so we've taken this province here. Lovely. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that one and just kind of take all their new capitals whenever they get them, and then hopefully we'll get them capitulated soon. Let's just take a look. Yugoslavia is currently... 93% towards capitulation, guys. So we're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, I wish we were helping out here, though, man. I almost want to pull the divisions back. It doesn't look like we're going to make it here. All right, this is what we're going to do. Let's help out with the defense by bringing this division in here. And uh, really just can't attack along this front at all up here because there's just uh, too many divisions and we're, you know, we're across the river, so it just doesn't leave any openings. Uh, so these guys here are going to come over to this one. And the divisions that are here are coming over to here, and then we'll just quickly grab it. All right, so these guys are now available to attack. Let's have them attack that way. And we'll just bring these guys in, too. While this division here is going to move up along here. While he grabs that province for us. 
All right, excellent, man. Yeah, looking great. The Yugoslavia be capitulated soon. That frees up uh, a lot of divisions to go elsewhere, and uh, we are doing like a ton of a uh, ton of bombings here. And I do like taking a look at these, seeing uh, how we're doing in the seas, how our convoys are doing, how our our navy is doing. And uh, thus far, we are doing great. Another destroyer sunk there, another one there, and just not really all that costly either. Light cruiser and destroyer sunk there, and we, you know, we're not really losing that many submarines. So uh, overall, yeah, this is exactly how we want this to go. All right, let's see how we did here. Uh, if we take these ports, uh, which were on our way there, it's going to attack here. It's going to grab that there, and then we're going to attack these guys here. And then uh, this will be wrapped up, and then we'll be able to focus on getting these guys here destroyed. Uh, so let's take a look, see how this is going. This is now actually a win. Uh, these guys are still pushing forward over here. And let's go ahead and see if we can't get there. This guy's going over here. Okay, so we can go to any of these, really. We'll go to that one, I suppose. Let's go and have him move over to this way. And him move over to here. Okay. Uh, are they attacking us here? They are. Okay, so let's just go. Uh, we're just going to pull the division out. Have him instead come on over to here. And hopefully he makes it. I guess we'll find out. All right, so yeah, he'll retreat there and then make his way on over to there. And we'll have to come peek at him again. And there we go, Yugoslavia has capitulated. Fantastic news. Uh, so we'll have to take a look and see how the front is there. This is my was my main goal for this episode, was to get Yugoslavia defeated, so we accomplished that. So I'm gonna grab the port so we can destroy that British division. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so we do need to get these divisions attacking here. So let's just throw everybody into the attack here, guys. Try and get them pushed out of that port there. And then let's just have these guys attack from here. Oh, they're going to attack from this direction. He's going to come up over this way. All right, so just looking at how this is how this is going. It's just Soviet and British divisions here that are completely cut off from supply, by the way, guys. Uh, so we need to hurry up and get them wrapped up. Uh, it's a bummer they haven't pulled them. Oh, they have pulled them in. Oh, damn, that must have been the one that I missed. All right, I wish I had missed that, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys attack over this way. That guy's going here. Let's go ahead and have him attack there. That might be a win. And then let's have these three, or four, excuse me, attack there. I know it's a uh, fort there, I think. No, there's no fort there, but it is a mountain. Uh, but we need to get this wrapped up, so I'm fine with uh, attacking in the mountains for now. So we're trying to get that Yugoslavia situation completely dealt with here in this episode. And then that'll allow us to move our divisions elsewhere. Uh, so far, none of these are dangerous naval invasions just yet, so we still got time to get troops there. And they mostly covering all the ports, and now it's just about getting uh, their organization back up so they can actually defend there. Hello. These guys, we want to get them at least at a green. We don't want that 25% modifier hurting them. That would be bad. Let me take a look and see how these guys are doing as far as getting everybody trained up. They're looking pretty good. Uh, we're probably going to want to change up all of these guys. Uh, but I don't know how we're doing on equipment, so let's just take a look. I assume we're hurting on some, some equipments. Uh, artillery still, light tanks and medium tanks. Again, all stuff that we have a lot of uh, factories going towards, so yeah, we don't need to make any adjustments there. Uh, we do have a decision available. Uh, that stupid recruit one again. It's such a pain in the ass. It makes me not want to do that anymore because it's a uh, pain, man. Uh, so we'll go and attack over there because it's an easy attack. Uh, these guys are going to attack here, and then we're just going to attack those British uh, right there. About to get this wrapped up. There we are. We are finished up there. So let's go ahead and have... Uh, this front extended. So they can help us destroy these guys. And then uh, take these guys, have them go over there. And these guys are already, hel already helping us out this way. Uh, only one of these needs to go this way. So let's go ahead and take these ones, have them come over here. Right, excellent. So, looking good, man. Just about to got this wrapped up. Just let them do a little bit more attacks here, defending there. Another ace pilot promoted. Uh, just taking a look at the skies and seeing how things go. And it does look like we're losing over here. We don't have enough uh, guys here. But they can't attack us here. So maybe I shouldn't have my planes here yet. Until we're ready to like really fully engage here. Because uh, otherwise we're just going to lose against Soviet. So perhaps I shouldn't have them there. Uh, maybe we should send some more over to this. Uh, over here I suppose. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We do have more planes that we can send there soon. Okay this is what we'll do. Let's just stop these guys from flying overhead. For now. There's just no reason to, because they can't even attack us along this front. So, uh, you know, if we don't have enough planes there, 
to actually get a win, then we're just taking high casualties that are unnecessary to take. Uh, they're not attacking us along here yet. They're not interested in it. And again, Columbia is going to ramp that up for us. Uh, and then that guy's getting over there. All right, still winning here and still pushing forward here. Okay. Oh, yes. I want to take a look at these guys. All right. So they're going over to China and or Indochina, I think, is specifically where they're going. Uh, and there is some openings here uh, if we push forward. So let's attempt to. Uh, and this would allow us to reduce the size of the front. So we will attack here and see if that's a win. That would not be a win. So we're just going to have to pull it back then. Remember, these divisions are you know, not great. These are the Italian divisions. So we'll just have to see how this goes. Uh, I don't know why one of these guys are leaving. Let's go ahead and have them stay here, though. Overall, it looks like we don't have enough divisions to cover the whole front now because of uh, them pushing forward there a little bit. Uh, we got to wait for China to get pulled in so we can take that, and that'll free up one division. But overall, yeah, we just don't have enough divisions uh, along there. I knew that was going to be an issue, uh, not having enough divisions in China. We don't have enough divisions anywhere, though. Uh, unfortunately, we have had a division shortage for this entire series for the most part. Uh, so these guys can probably get a win here. Yeah, it looks like they will. Let's go and attack it this way and attack it this way. Let's just get all these guys finished up, free those divisions up to go elsewhere. Uh, and we just kind of got to get all these ones that are, uh, you know, cut off from supply. We just got to get them destroyed now. I'm not really seeing anywhere we can attack, though. All of our guys are, yeah, it's all across rivers or, yeah, maybe there, perhaps. Really, we just need to wait till we get all these divisions up to their fronts. They're just taking too long to get over there. That's the problem. We don't have enough divisions over there just yet to finish it up. All right, so let's take a look at here. Uh, these guys are now done, so let's go ahead and have them finish it up. And we're going to leave one division. I, I don't know if he can attack. I assume they can attack from right here. I don't know if they have to be here to attack. But just so they don't do a naval invasion here, because this is key, keeping you know keeping this conflicted, uh, which it currently is right now disputed, I think, is the, the term. Yeah, contested, excuse me. Uh, so we have to keep it contested here. Uh, so that only submarines can pass, so we don't have to worry about ships going through there. Uh, so we'll keep uh, keep it contested, but eventually we're going to have to do an invasion across uh, to take Gibraltar. Uh, but for right now, let's go and get the rest of Africa wrapped up. Uh, what we need to do is send these guys over to here. And these guys could probably win here. Yeah, it looks like they can, so let's go and support that attack. All right, excellent. And still waiting on another division to come up this way, because I don't think he'll win by himself. Uh, this is a win here. Still having trouble there, but let's just focus on... Oh, it looks like we got all the ports, don't we? Okay, so these guys are now completely cut off from supply. Uh, so let's just go up along the coast now and get all this territory taken. These guys are going to come up over here now. And it's just this one division that's cut off from supply. And so now it's just a matter of getting him destroyed. Uh, let's take a look see what happened over here. We got another destroyer sunk and another one. And lost the submarine sinking a convoy there. We sunk one of their carriers. Okay, that is fantastic, man. Uh, so, yeah, we sunk one of their early carriers. That's very good, man. That's what we need to see. We need to get these capital ships sunk. Uh, and also had some battles across here. Uh, sunk, sunk some convoys and stuff. Uh, and lost two more submarines there. So we're going to need to take a look at our submarine situation. We have taken some losses, guys. But that's what happens with submarines, man. They die. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it happens. All right, so... Uh, and we also have our, our, our guys here that are helping us bomb there. Um, but what we need to do now is take a look at our ships and see if there's any adjustments we need to make. Uh, it looks like we're not losing the new submarines. We're only losing old submarines right now. Okay, well, that's fine then. Uh, so we probably won't make any changes here then for right now. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, uh, so again, just trying to get this wrapped up here. And a lot of these guys are really weak, so... Our guys, I mean, they just don't have the organization because they just moved over here. And the United States just declared war on Argentina. Really? Really, though? Oh, that sucks. So the United States, despite sending us aid, is now at war with us. Does that mean that they're going to join the faction here? Like, are they going to join the Comintern? That's what it seems like. Uh, we set them up to not join the Comintern. But yeah, it looks like we're going to have the United States at war with us. Which is quite unfortunate, because we are already kind of stretched to our limits right now. And uh, now we have to go to war with the United States as well. Why, though? Why did they go to war with Argentina? That's just odd, man. Like, we've been nothing but friendly with them. I mean, I know they don't like us here. Uh, because of our... The fact that we generate real tension. Uh, but yeah. So that's that's quite unfortunate, guys. That they declare war on Argentina. Now we have to fight them, which... 
I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to invade the United States or not <laughs> to, to get them completely knocked out because I was not trying to stretch it out. This was supposed to, this whole campaign was supposed to be focused on Europe, and I've already had to fight outside of Europe more than I wanted to. And I really want to get the Soviets and the British knocked out. We'll see if we go that far and, and actually invade the United States. Uh, but yeah, that was not part of the plan for the series, guys. I'm trying to keep these series a little bit more limited so that we can move move to the next one uh, faster. Uh, we've been doing a pretty good job, you know, 20-something videos uh, per series or whatever, uh, which is much different than what I used to do. And I've, given, I've, I've increased the length of the videos, but man, we used to have like 40-something videos and people just didn't watch that long. I'd go like 40-something, 50-something videos and nobody would be watching towards the end. So I've been trying my best to like decrease... Uh, the the length of the series uh, and part of that is is increasing the length of the videos that has helped uh, but the other thing is by having more like focused um, you know goals uh, so not conquering the whole world every single damn series or having to conquer almost everybody in the world the whole series every single series it just takes so long to do uh, so yeah I was trying to have a more focused one here on Europe and already we've had to conquer we've you know been expanding in South America and Africa and we have to fight in uh, China now as well so already I've kind of gone a little bit off track of what I was trying to do with this campaign and now we have to fight the United States too yeah, I don't know if we'll invade them guys uh, at the very least we'll destroy all their fleet um, but yeah this is this is gonna be problematic they should already be at war with us yep uh, so we can expect like invasions by them uh, we're gonna we're gonna expect a lot of problems in fact actually that's gonna cause all kinds of issues I don't know why they declared war on us that's weird uh, is it because Argentina is, I don't know, they're not even fascist or communist. That just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah, I don't know why they declared war on us. Really strange, though. All right, so we can probably expect to lose in South America now, though. I just don't have enough divisions over there, guys. We do not have the division numbers to, like, fight the whole, you know, the whole world. Uh, you know, we, we had so few divisions for a long time there. We already sunk an American submarine, so that's good. Uh, but, yeah, we can expect that, uh, yeah, here's more American submarines we're sinking. We can expect that they'll move their fleet over here. I really hope they don't join the common turn, though. That'll be ir irritating, because then we'll have to invade them to get them uh, defeated. But yeah, if they join any other faction, like if they join the Japanese or the Australian factions, then we have to fight them, too. So, yeah. I don't know. I guess uh, we'll see how things go. But yeah, that's a little bit irritating, man. Ruining my plans, damn it. All right, let's go get these guys here destroyed. And we're going to take these. I'll put them over to this front here. All right, so we just can't let them get to a port. We can't allow that to happen. So let's go ahead and attack them here. We want to make sure they uh, remain uh, lacking supply. Let's go and attack these guys. They look pretty weak, so should be able to get an easy win there. All right, just looking for other easy wins. I'm not really seeing. Once we get this done here, this will free up tons of divisions. Uh, some of these guys need to come up over here. All right, so these guys are all coming over there. Excellent. Uh, so these are now cut off, so we're going to want to get them destroyed. And seeing where else we can do some attacks here. I'm not really seeing any, though, where we definitely win. Might be able to get a win there because we have a lot of divisions, but they have a lot there, too. Uh, Australia wants a non-aggression pact. We will take that. Uh, yeah, we'll take the non-aggression pact. And then uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, we sunk a ton of American submarines, so that's great news. Uh, we'll have to pay attention for uh, American invasions. And I don't know how we'll be able to react to that, though, because, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any divisions, man. Uh, once we finish up here in Africa, that's going to free up a ton of divisions, though. So uh, that'll be helpful. Uh, so now these guys are going back. They know they're in trouble. They don't have a port. Uh, so yeah, they're in quite the pickle. Uh, these guys have wrapped this up here. Again, we're going to leave one division there. Uh, but the rest of these... Uh, well, we have a few going over here to get that wrapped up. We should probably send more over there. And then this guy here, is there any other areas we need to fight here? As of right now, no. Uh, but we do want to get the naval invasion going here. I don't know if we're going to send these guys. I don't know how effective they would be at that. Uh, and it looks like we just about got Africa wrapped up. So what I'm going to do, and these guys might get sunk, but hopefully not. Uh, let's go and send them over to uh, here because, yeah, we need more divisions over there, obviously. Uh, we don't have anywhere near enough to get this properly defended. So I think I'm also going to send this guy over here just to make sure we don't lose that mountain province there. What are we sinking over here? Uh, freight convoys, okay. And troop convoys there, troop convoys there. It looks like the most of these convoys that we're sinking are troop convoys, uh, which is very good. That means we're sinking uh, divisions in the sea rather than having to fight them. That's what I wanna see, guys. All right, so we are about to lose there. We're getting another division over there, though. Uh, let's go and attack over this way, uh, just to try and get this win here and help out with some of these defenses. Uh, these guys here can now make sure they're all going over that front. Uh, those two divisions can take that out for us. 
Uh, let's go and attack over here with these divisions now. That should be an easy fight. There we go. And just go ahead and take all of them. Just have one come over here. Make sure they all go up over that front. All right. So uh, I might be able to get a win here. So let's go and attack them there. Just try and wrap up these last little bit of divisions here. Get them all destroyed. It looks like they're mostly Soviet. Some British divisions, though. Uh, we're going to take the non-aggression packs from these factions. Uh, and hopefully... Uh, I don't know if that'll keep them from accepting America from joining. I don't really know what America is going to do, guys. We'll just have to see. Uh, we'll just have to see. Um, sunk a, two American submarines and a British light cruiser there. I think or it might have been a uh, Iberian. I think it was British, though. I didn't actually see the flag. I just assumed it was British. All right, so, yeah, sinking a lot of uh, American uh, submarines. So that's been helpful. So, yeah, just trying to get this, this territory here wrapped up and what happened. Okay, so Britain has de decrypted our ciphers, and now they get 30 days of the bonuses there. Uh, this is going to help a lot for their invasions that they're going to be launching. Now, we do have troop convoys that we're attempting to sink across here, or we're attempting to sink uh, uh, any convoys here, so hopefully that'll result in... And yeah, we're just going to decline that. Prussia should be in our wars already. Perhaps they're not yet. Let's go ahead and make sure they, they join all the wars then. I think that's the American one that they're not uh, set to join yet. Let's go ahead and make sure that Greeks join too. Just these countries along here, we don't want them to join. Bohemia, Poland, Lithuania, and Romania. Those are the ones we do not want in the conflict just yet. We're not ready for them to, to join. All right, so still winning there. Um, they must have sent another division there. Uh, the French Empire is called the Dominican Republican. Okay, so they automatically joined. Uh, I'm guessing the Americans declared war on them, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure what happened here. Uh, but yeah, they automatically joined our faction, uh, even though they're fascist. Uh, but we'll take that. And uh, Austria-Hungary wants to join our wars. I think they they don't have a border here. We could go ahead and bring them in, I suppose. They have divisions that could help out. So, yeah, let's go ahead and have them join the conflict. Oh, they were probably... Okay, they were in the war, but they weren't in the American one. Got it. All right, so that's going to continue to cause me... Uh, confusion. Uh, let's go and get these guys wiped out. Should be pretty easy. Well, actually, you know what? No, no, no. I forgot we'd already won here, so these guys would be able to, we'd be able to completely destroy them. The Republic of Ma has joined. Okay, uh, so that is... Where is the Republic of Ma? I have no idea where that's at. I was assuming they'd be somewhere around here, but yeah, I don't actually know. You know, we'll go ahead and take a look, because I'm curious. Uh, I know it's not that important, but uh, I'd like to know where the Republic of Ma is. Oh, it's right here. Okay, uh, so that's where they're at. They're not usually called that. Uh, Bulgaria wants to join our wars. Just take a look. I think they're already in the conflict. Yeah, they're already in the conflict. They're just joining the American one. And then uh, Lithuania, we're going to decline Lithuania. And no joining the wars for you. I'm glad they want to help. Uh, that's great. And let's go ahead and now destroy these guys. Attention. Seven divisions. Should be able to get those wiped out fairly easily. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys attack here now. And we should be attacking up along here as well. And the Red Army does not have a front now on here. Damn it. Attention. So this got messed up somehow. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys up along here. And... Huh. Let's go and pull these ones back. They're fighting up along here. I have them all join here now, I, I think. Man, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell exactly what, what's going on here. Kind of a little bit messy, guys. Let's do this attack again. There we go. All right, so we'll attack there. Just about across there. And uh, we don't want to attack from this direction because of the rivers. Uh, we want to avoid attacking across there. And uh, just a lot of uh, a lot of things messed up here, guys. Uh, it's looking ugly, uh, but it's going to be soon fixed. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and take a look, see what all we got here. Sunk, lost a submarine. We didn't sink anything. We did sink uh, American submarine there, though. Uh, light cruisers, destroyers, and uh, see what we got here. Probably more American submarines. Nope, not American. All right, uh, not seeing any more naval invasions planned here. They are planning on attacking Normandy, which they weren't before, but we've got uh, that covered now. And uh, we're getting a division over here, so hopefully that should uh, help us out. Hopefully our troops don't get sunk while going across the sea, but yeah, there's really not anything I'd do about that. We've got to uh, 
Bye. No, obviously we got we got to send them there to South America. Uh, let's take a look at the the Chinese situation. So many uh, fronts that we're currently fighting on, uh, and Killing these guys. Me. Who knows what happened to them? Yeah, I don't even know, guys. That's strange. Uh, let's go over this way. And frankly, this is um, this is really ugly. Yeah, they have too many divisions here. Uh, so let's go and attack here. Maybe we'll be able to get those guys cut off. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, frankly, there's too many divisions up along this front, and this is obviously not good. Yeah, not good at all. All right, so there's nobody up along this front. We got to stop these guys, so they're gonna have to come over to this front now, guys. There's just no way around it. Uh, yeah, we need more divisions over here. We don't have a planning. No, we do have a planning bonus. Never mind. Uh, so we'll get them going over there. We still need divisions over here and covering those ports. So you gotta gotta keep those guys there because they could launch naval invasions. So that would be a problem. And I was hoping to get this wrapped up here in this episode, but yeah, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen, guys. Because we are gonna have to end it here because I wanted to take a look at the casualties. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. And I would like to see which ships we've sunk. How many ships we've sunk, I should say. Oh, uh, oh, nice. We can actually. Oh, we're pulling. And that's right. We're trading for Italy for for a reason. Uh, we're trying to get them so that they'll capitulate. Or, excuse me, so they'll uh, declare uh, themselves independent. All right, so uh, how far along are we on, on doing that? Let's just take a look, see where the Italian's at. Uh, 706, so not not as close as I would like them to be. Uh, so remember, we still get these forces here. We made really, really slow progress, guys, but again, I'm controlling so many fronts. This will speed up as we get some of these fronts wrapped up, specifically Africa. Uh, once that's wrapped up, that'll be, uh, you know, obviously open up. Uh, well, we're done Yugoslavia as well. Uh, but yeah, that open up a lot of divisions to move elsewhere, and you know, a less of a, uh, less fronts for us to have to focus on. It does seem like we are losing here still. Oh man! All right, why don't you guys come on over here and help them out? Uh, it's surprising yeah, that they're still losing, but whatever. We're gonna try and get these guys cut off now. Let's see if we can. We might not be able to beat this guy. Oh, it's gonna be 17 days. Yeah, we should be able to win there then. Uh, remember, we do have planes here that we're gonna want to have go over here now, uh, and they might be better off over here. Uh, better. Uh, coverage there these guys are already here helping us out all right excellent all right so that looks good um we probably don't have any planes over here and, and oh no we do we have fighters at the very least here but we don't have them in the right zone uh so what we want to do is have them come over here so we can actually start winning here uh, we need more planes over there we'll have to take a look see if we have them or not probably not all right uh so that's good for there Let's go ahead and take a look at the casualties, guys. Uh, so, so far we've only taken 6,000 casualties. That is it. And 2.9 thousand of that was from the Iberians. Uh, the Italians, though, have taken 21,000 casualties. Bulgaria 4K, Argentina 2K. Uh, and you kind of see what the other factions have done so far. A lot of casualties for the Dutch East Indies. Quite a bit for Japan and Korea as well. Uh, taking a look at our enemy. Uh, our enemies have taken from us. Uh, so we've done 51,000 casualties to the Mexicans. While they haven't done anything to us. It's not noted there anyways. Uh, just looking at other countries here that we might have been fighting. Iberia. We've killed 167,000 Iberians for their 2.9 thousand. Uh, Brazil. We I guess we haven't fought any of their divisions yet. Uh, looking at other countries. Main countries here that we might have fought. The British. We've killed 264,000 of the British. <laughs> they have killed 1.6 thousand. Wow. Uh, just seeing who else we might have fought here. Uh, the United States. Uh, we haven't caused them any casualties yet, despite the fact that we sunk those submarines. Uh, apparently they all survived or whatever. Um, I don't know how you survive when your submarine sinks, but I guess you could uh, if you escaped it before it sunk. But that's the current situation. Uh, we have in the total uh, conflict, we have 12% uh, war participation, uh, but against the Americans we have 97%, uh, but again, th that might end up turning into the uh, one of these other wars, if the Americans join a faction. Let's we'll see what happens there. Uh, but so far, doing great on the casualties. We've killed, I don't know how many, but a lot. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of troops for only 6,000 lost, so great going there. Uh, and just take a look at the last thing before we end the episode, the ships. Uh, so, in the current month here, maybe we might want to look at older. Uh, so, Here's the older ones, uh, the ones that we sunk, uh, not as recently. Uh, so we only lost one destroyer uh, while we sunk. Uh, okay, so these are really old. Okay, so we want to look at this current month here. So we lost eight submarines, but sunk 19. We sunk seven of the uh, light cruisers. Or yeah, I think I think they could be either light or heavy cruisers, but I think we only sunk light cruisers. So seven light cruisers, 19 submarines. Uh, for only eight submarines, uh, we sunk a total of 50 destroyers, uh, one carrier, 
and 106 convoys for only losing eight submarines. That's fantastic, guys. So we've done great uh, in the seas uh, overall. Uh, I don't know how we're doing in the air, though. I mean, you can't really see, like, they don't show you all that. We'd have to actually look at the individual air zones, how many uh, planes we've lost and such. Uh, but I assume that we shot down more planes than we've lost. Uh, the Spanish have, or the Iberians have completely given up on the attack here. Uh, we eventually want to launch the attack there. Um, yeah, we'll probably want to launch an attack soon. As soon as we get Yugoslavia done, we're going to send divisions over to Iberia uh, and invade from up here and then do naval invasions across here to get to the Straits of Gibraltar under our control and attack the Spanish from two different directions. So that's our next goal is to get them knocked out of the conflict, guys. Try and knock the Spanish out, the Iberians. And uh, we'll try and uh, keep these guys out of the war for as long as possible because, guys, we can't... I don't think we'd be able to defend this. Maybe. We have help from our allies, I suppose, so we might be able to defend it. Uh, but I'm worried that we wouldn't be able to because we only have one division in each uh, province and uh, also a lot of these guys are still train in and getting transitioned to other uh, division designs. So I just don't feel like we're ready on this front. We need another army as well over there. So what I would like to do is instead focus on Iberia and we also need to send troops to South America and to Asia because we're about to lose in both of those areas. Uh, so that's what we'll do with those African troops once they're done with their current uh, attacks. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.